Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we're checking out the early access to Retropolis 2. Yet another one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. I'm a fan of the prequel, like it's such a unique title on the store that you clearly see the passion and the creativity put into it by the developers, and it stands out easily among all the other adventure stuff. The situation is that this is now on App Lab, well, just like the prequel was at first, and then the full release, I think, with all the episodes, will come eventually on the first store right now we have an episode one available and the rest will come eventually but it's interesting that now it's gonna come like periodically rather than release altogether but i suppose it's because the project altogether is much longer with more puzzles and more stuff to do so retropolis 2 is a direct continuation of what have happened with the detective philip log and the actress jenny montage it's a point and click adventure game where a year has passed after the events of certain incident we're again out there to find out where our robotic femme fatale went and couldn't keep herself out of the trouble while the magician is in the world just chasing her. Overall comparing to the first game it's definitely an upgrade but not necessarily a visible one. Well I mean the visuals are better and more polished, also the frame droppy art style was kind of met in the middle because some things are slow as well but then the devs mixed in some fast sequences where the heat of the action is happening in the scene. There were certainly some weird things like lack of subtitles, which is pretty much a given and necessary for a game like that. While the prequel had it and this one doesn't, like I'm very much confused why and I'm pretty sure I didn't miss it in the settings because there isn't any so it's a weird case altogether as well as the first real puzzle of the game is actually almost impossible to solve and it's not because it's too frustrating or hard to do but it's based on your brain skills that you don't really have a control over and I'm pretty sure most of the people won't even be able to complete it like when you see the clip you'll figure out why so I'm not sure if the devs would have to change it or like make a different version where after a certain amount of fails the game would either repeat the same sequence over and over and not change it all the time or make something more simpler because it just doesn't make sense to put something like that in the beginning where you want to get into the story and then you're bashed in the head with a puzzle that <laughs> you can't control over. Besides that, it's a continuation of the story, so I'm very happy about that and I hope it's gonna come to the official store anytime soon. The talent and the compassion is here, it just needs some adjustments for a more appropriate experience. Let's go to the gameplay! There are two kinds of truth, the truth that lights the way and the truth that warms the heart. The first of these is science and the second is art. That's a nice quote. <laughs> And for a short and fleeting moment, I was happy. <laughs> I was still a nobody, but I had Jenny. The one and only Jenny Montage. After she lost all of her memories, she needed someone. And I was there. Right, that's what happened. I kept her safe. I kept her company. I told her stories about the city. We spent hours together, just talking and laughing. But I kept silent when she asked me who was the man we buried in the wasteland. I thought I was protecting her. I was wrong. Her urge to know led her away. Mm. I waited for her to come back. All I got was a phone call. Hello? Philip! Philip! I'm in trouble! It's the magician! He's after me! You've gotta help me again! No! What the? You asked for it, essentially. I searched for her, day and night. I did everything I could, but it wasn't enough. I was just a single cog in a gigantic machine. Sequel DB! <laughs> I mean, I still remember the story and stuff.
though it's like starting from the good ending or whatever, or in both endings, she lost memories anyways, so we just choose the path how we treat her. <laughs> Something is going on with the movement. Like my headset is going crazy. <laughs> the frame drops are insane. I can't move my head. But it's a nice static intro. <laughs> oh, here we go. I guess it can't render the big environment. I think the art style was a little bit polished, like it's still in the same category but more defined. It's been almost a year since Jenny disappeared. Oh! <laughs> Every time I think I'm getting close, it turns out to be just another dead end. What's going on? Why can't I find her? What am I missing? A year? Well, there we are, <laughs> in a cluttered apartment from depression. It's five days old, and it smells funny. There are no subtitles? Uh, there are not even options for it, okay. All they write about is the energy crisis, nothing about Jenny. Okay, let's try it again from scratch. You know what to do, Philip. Review the facts, find connections. The magician, the criminal mastermind of Retropolis. I've heard that you can find the magician in one of his illegal shows, but you need to be a part of a secret society to get a ticket. I really need subtitles for this game. Like, I don't know what happened. The first one had it automatically. Jenny Montage, the famous movie star. She's not like any other robot in the city. There's a different kind of energy flowing through her. And I feel like she looks a little bit different, like the chin is pointy. <laughs> I couldn't trace where she's from. The factories in Metropolis don't make robots like Jenny. Senator Merrick, Jenny's ex-husband. The bastard tried to shut her down and sell her away. Hate. <laughs> Well, he's dead, so who cares? I'm not sad that he's gone. Dead robots can't run for mayor. The Sapphire Nucleus, Jenny's power gem. The Sapphire Nucleus is Jenny's biggest secret, and she wears it right on her chest. Oh, please, Philip. Stop. This. This is a new low for me. <laughs> I found this suitcase the night I met Jenny. I've used only a little bit of the money for rent and drinks. Mostly drinks. A dusty old investigation board. I'll get back to it once I find Jenny. My old cabinets. There's nothing interesting about them. Every day I say I need to tidy this place up, and every day I end up saying I'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow, I'll do it for real. Ash has been living here because it's her cabinet. I hate this guy. <laughs> Why does he keep following me around? <laughs> We're back. <laughs> oh, Jenny. I keep everything just the same as it was for the day she comes back. Maybe later. Okay. We're gonna fly away from here. Okay, well, I'll try to figure out what to do, I suppose.
I see. Jenny can't survive more than 24 hours without the energy coming out of the sapphire nucleus. And if she dies, wearing it can bring her back to life. Only now I understand that the magician wanted to put his hands on Jenny for a long time, and I failed to protect her. Senator Merrick and the magician were in business together. Their last deal was trading political power for Jenny Montage, separated from her power gem. Hello? Hello. I'm looking for Philip 109. Is he in? Tell him Sergeant Struborg from the RPD is calling. It's been a while since anyone called me by that name, Sergeant. It's Philip Log now, and I answer my own phone calls. You should try it too. It's not that complicated. <laughs> You're still the same wisecracker you used to be, 109. So, why are you calling me after all these years, Sergeant? Miss my sarcastic comments and boyish good looks? I, uh, need to talk to you. It's not for the phone. I have my car. I can meet you anywhere. How about the electric sheep bar? I'll drop by later tonight. And don't drink too much, 109. I need you sharp. Okay, action. The Electric Sheep Bar was a dirty old-fashioned saloon. I liked the place. It was so cozy you could almost believe it was built for humans. I sat there for a couple of hours and waited for my old boss to show up. Couple of hours? I would never. Hey, Philip, we're closing up the place. Let me give you your last round on the house. It was good to see you again. Aww. Thanks, bartender bot 542A. Hey, you remembered my name! Of course I did. Is it okay if I sit here a little longer? I'm waiting for someone. Sure, take your time. How nice. <sighs> what a waste of time. Hey, 109, sorry I'm late. You know how it is. It's nice to see you too, Sergeant. I was just about to leave. They're done serving for the night. Just my luck. Do you mind if I take a sip of your drink? <laughs> this was interesting here. This transition, because it was fluid. So, they essentially kept the art style kind of, like it's enhanced. But it's not anymore in like, slow-mo or like, you know, this frame drop sequence. Sure, help yourself. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> ah, oh, I needed that. I've been so rusty lately. You're welcome. Well, we can sit here and babble on about the good old days, or we can cut to the chase. I'm investigating the murder of a close friend of mine, Senator Merrick. He was found buried in the wasteland. Someone shot him, and get this, his bank account is totally empty. Hmm, you don't say. Do you have any suspects? I tried to get a hold of his wife. You know Jenny Montage, right? Yeah, I've heard of her. Well, she's gone off the radar. Hasn't shot a movie in a year. I always suspected she's a dangerous dame, but Merrick wouldn't listen. So, you think the greedy actress killed her husband and fled with the money? Nah, she was built to be pretty and say her lines. She wouldn't have what it takes to pull the trigger. My guess is that she hired some ex-cop to do the dirty job for her. After all, we were built for trouble. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, I can see where this is heading. I think it's better I call my lawyer now. Really? Where exactly do you think this is heading? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Well, I need your help with this investigation. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. I just don't think my lawyer would be happy with me doing PI jobs on the side. Come on. We had a lot of fun back in the day, didn't we? 
cracking cases together, catching the bad guys, you, me, John. I thought you weren't gonna babble on about the good old days. We both know it wasn't just fun and games. Listen, there's something strange going on with this case. While searching Merrick's mansion, I found some kind of a mysterious device. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't you at least look at it for me? What kind of a mysterious device? It's classified evidence, 109. You can't share it with anyone. I'm only giving it to you because you were a detective, and I know I can trust you. Unit 52 here. I'm heading there right now. Well, this miserable city ain't gonna protect itself. Phew. I was sure you had something on me. <laughs> but apparently you gave me a solid lead. Oh, we're opening here. What the? A mask? Whoa. Oh yes, exactly. I don't know if I'll complete this. Oh, it reset it. Okay, I'll try my best. No! I don't know if I'll complete it, honestly. Like, this is challenging, but in a way that I can't help myself. <laughs> Okay, I can do it. <laughs> I'm gooped and gagged that it's uh, starting like that and I have no idea if I'll be able to continue it. I'll try, but it's gonna take a shit ton of time, which I don't have for an overview, so I'll just keep it short here and I'll continue, I don't know when. Overall, I like where this is heading. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the start is kinda um, complicated. The game overall has been upgraded if it's with the frame rate, well, not the frame drops in the performance when we had this whole city. But overall, the movements, the art style is also enhanced, much polished. There's only one thing missing, which is subtitles, which it's very weird that it's not here. So I hope it's gonna be at some point, but it is like an essential Retropolis experience and we'll see how that will go, but I'm excited for what's there to come after this stupid puzzle. <laughs>